A Cape Coral dog owner reaching out to four in your corner over a heated dispute. Thanks for being with us at six. I'm Patrick Nolan. Jay Monrail's off tonight. This man's telling us that Lee County Domestic Animal Services caught his dog, but now won't release her back to him without spaying her first. Four in your corners, Carl Fortier, finding out how you can make sure you don't end up in a similar situation. I'm trying, I'm just trying to get my dog back the way she was when she left my house. William Hayes says he's owned his dog China for four years until she got loose from her leash last Thursday and ran away from home in Cape Coral. The next day, Hayes found China listed on Lee County Domestic Animal Services website of found dogs. He says they told him he can have China back as long as he adopts her or shows proof of ownership. But the only problem I have, they want me to spay my dog. And I don't want to do that because she is the last of her bloodline. Hayes says the photos of the dog that he tried showing to DAS as proof that he owned China wasn't enough. He says he never took her to a vet, so he doesn't have any records. I reached out to Lee County. A spokesman says county ordinance requires a valid license, veterinary records from the past three years, or a registered microchip. William says he has no plans to breed China, who he says is a breed called an American bully, but says he wants to keep that option open. No, I just know that I love my dog, and she's been with me since she was a year. In the spokesman for Lee County says it is their policy to spay or neuter a dog before releasing it for adoption, which William says he'll do if all else fails. In Lee County, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.